and so you have a link to click ecourse a course that you've got somebody sent you the link and you're wondering you know how to add it and how to navigate how to go find other courses how to add other courses how to view courses how to view the lessons how to navigate through all that we're going to talk about how all that works on click ecourse it's not super complicated obviously but it's nice to see you know what are the things you can do and maybe you're not sure there's lots of things you can do on click ecourse that you might not be aware of so we're going to go through that from the perspective of a student so if you've created a course and you've hosted it on there uh, this is for <laughs> not necessarily for you obviously it would be good for you to know too so because if you have students that ask questions but this is mainly for a student somebody who is just either got the course or wants to know how to get the course and where do you find it in your in your um, library and how to navigate and all this stuff so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so click eCourse first of all what is click eCourse click eCourse is a course hosting site that has social media features on it that allows you to create uh, groups and friends and connections and pages and all these things kind of like similar to Facebook but then its main main feature is a course hosting platform so you can host your own course on there and as a student you can access courses or buy courses depending on whether they're free or not and then you can view the courses you can actually go to to your phone and continue a lesson you don't have to uh, remember where you were because whenever you log in it remembers where you were in the course remembers where you were in the lesson right so if you're in the middle of a lesson that's a 30 minute lesson you can just pause it right there and don't worry about it you can go back to it a week later if you want on your phone instead of your computer and you're going to be able to tell you're going to be able to know it's it's going to know where you left off and it's going to start you off right there right nothing prevents you from restarting and all that but if but if you're just you know moving ahead you can actually uh, recover where you were you can also comment on videos on lessons on courses there's even a news feed where you can actually see people's updates their profile changes things like that uh, create a new courses that show up or maybe a lesson <laughs> <coughs> sorry I got a bit of a cold maybe a lesson that gets added to a course right so that's what click eCourse is all about and click eCourse is uh is a click ecourse.com as you can see right there so just go to click ecourse.com if you're watching the if you're listening to the audio make sure you go check out the video at cis229.jsgagnon.com that's cis229.jsgagnon.com all right so click ecourse is click ecourse.com you can go there the first thing you got to do is you got to go uh you got to go and register an account so let's just go well let's just let's just share the screen here so first of all when you go to click ecourse you're going to see this about page right the first thing you see is this about page <clears throat> and you know if you if you got a link let's say you got a link to a course I'm just going to go randomly find a course in here and we're going to kind of start from there let's say you got the LinkedIn profile secrets and we're going to just open that in an incognito window so you can kind of see what it looks like if you're not logged in or anything so as you can see right here you see the you see that the link up here says LinkedIn profile secrets whoops actually you don't see that let me scroll down a bit so you see that the link says LinkedIn profile secrets so so by the way anybody who uh, publishes a course on the site the title of the course is going to be in the url that really helps for seo so that's one thing that uh, maybe as a course whoops as a course creator uh, you might be interested in knowing um, so once you're on the course site now this page here um, can be uh, customized and be different than what this is but this is like the default view whenever you don't customize it it basically shows the title uh the 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 summary of the course and then this is this can be a very long description it depends on on <coughs> on the course course author and then of course as you can see right here there's been comments this is me um and then uh, this is a uh, this is uh somebody who actually 
got the course and looked at it and somebody else here so they commented on there as you can see it says log in the comment and watch free lesson now and unlock course right so here's a few things so first when you get to this course and it's a free course you can actually you can see if you scroll down here you can see the lessons right each of these lessons are uh in the course so in this course here there's five lessons right lesson number one introduction lesson two creating a LinkedIn account lesson three the basics lesson four becoming a lion lesson five the conclusion so these these ones say unlock course the ones that are are not free to view uh well it is a free course but I'll explain to you why it's shown like this so the first thing is you can have a free lesson there's a free lesson right here you can just click on that and it'll start playing this uh this episode let's turn it on. there's this little intro robot here if I skip over there's the lesson that starts so let's just let it finish there and there you go so this is a lesson right hey my friends okay so that's the lesson that's in there it's a one minute a 12 second video it kind of lets you see what this uh, course is about uh in this case right and that's the idea right whenever you're creating a course you always want to have an introduction to let your students know what your course is about but as a student you might be like okay I want to yeah let's I want to see the rest of this uh, course right so it to be able to access the rest of a course especially if it's a course that's that's um that is not free you need to access but even if it's free and even if all the lessons because you can actually have a course let's say let's go back to the course list um as you can see there's uh, tabs up here leaders feed about courses and plans the courses tab the courses tab up there is going to give you a list of all the courses you can search for specific courses by putting a title here let's say Facebook I'm just going to search for Facebook or maybe a, a e-course maybe the platform WordPress LinkedIn growth no actually there is a course <clears throat> there is a course engagement course income secrets uh, there's creating your first course right over here so this is <coughs> hmm, sorry again this is an example of a free course that all the lessons are free as you can see they all say watch lesson for free right and this is a course I did which kind of shows how to create a course on Click eCourse so you can actually watch all this but the difference with you just watching it like this and not unlock like it says unlock here still right the difference is that you you won't it won't track what you watch what you didn't watch because the site doesn't know who you are right you're just an anonymous viewer right now you don't have an account <clears throat> so it doesn't know you know it doesn't know it won't be able to remember that you were in lesson number six if you go to your desk uh, a desktop your mat your piece your uh, from your desktop to your phone or anything like that so it won't know right so that's one of the differences you can still watch it all it's all free and especially this one because it's actually a course to teach you how to create a course right but um but what you want to do really is you want to add this to your library you want to create an account it's all free to create an account so all you got to do is you just click on the register here and I'm going to create an account I'm going to call it um uh watch I'm just going to call it watch I have an account that an email a domain that I can put whatever I want as a name so this is just going to be just a test account so as you can see right here it says you were referred by right so if you get a link from one of your friends and they say hey go go to this site go register get yourself a free account go check this course out you should expect to see their name there that's a referral the the site does does have an affiliate program and now it doesn't have to be an affiliate like by default it'll show this because I'm the owner of the site but anybody who's got an account can then become an affiliate and then send out their links to you so that you become their referral right the only reason for that is because we as a, a site provider we we get some income from some users right and we want to give that back we want to give that back to the community we want people to to benefit from um <clears throat> from the site so if if they refer somebody uh, we want them to be rewarded for it right we don't want like if you tell your friend about going to Walmart and they go and buy something you get nothing right Walmart doesn't reward you for for telling people about this awesome product that they're selling or whatever right you don't get rewarded for that you don't get rewarded if somebody goes to a restaurant that you recommend you don't get rewarded if somebody goes to a movie you recommend right so that's one of the things we want to do we want to make sure that anybody who recommends our site gets something in return so that's why we have this uh, process here of uh 
<coughs> of this registration right okay so um okay so that's the referral anyways whatever so now you click on the register button right there and that gets you an email it sends an email to your whatever your email is to allow you to register right so I'm just going to click the okay here there's nothing that happens yet but if I go to my email let's just go to my email actually I have that over here let's go to my email and I'm just going to reload this there you go okay yeah let's go to my email let me just show you my email here <clears throat> okay so in my email here I get a whole bunch of email all the time right but you can see you'll get this activation on Click eCourse link and there's going to be an email that says you or someone else requested an account and blah 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 and there's going to be an activation link there you just you just click on that and it'll activate your account I'm going to right click because I want to open it in the incognito but now it's going to activate it says successfully activated your account and if I just uh, just close that you can see right here that I have a profile picture now you know how it was a second ago it was just like this register and log in on the top right let's go back to there it was registered and log in now that it's activated you see a you see a log out you see a notification bell you see a messaging bell and you see a profile picture so now you have an you have an account you have an account so if I go back to the courses here and I go find this course that I wanted this LinkedIn profile secrets now that I'm logged in now it says add to your library it is a because it's a free course it lets you add it to your library if I just click on this now it adds it to my library and it says congratulations on adding a great course to your collection and you may start the course so you can just click on that and it'll start the course on the first lesson right so which we all have just turn the sound off so if I go <clears throat> skip over this uh, little robot it's the same it's, it starts over because it doesn't know that I was the one that who 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 listened to it before right so it starts over to the beginning I'm just going to go skip as you can see as you play the as you play the video right this lesson number one here when it finishes when it gets to the next if you have autoplay next lesson enabled here, so yeah so now it goes to the next lesson lesson number two right so hey. turn the sound off so that's lesson number two so now it's going to lesson number two right I can come here and I can add a comment I can say great intro right <clears throat> I'm just going to save that like that so I have watch is my name right that's my account name but uh actually we'll talk about that in a second but this is this is lesson number two in the course right and it's showing you the lesson if I go back to the course I can click on the bottom here that says back to the course or courses by this same person uh, or for full courses list if I just click on back to the course it takes me to this specific course and you can see right here that I've seen this a lesson already but I'm on this one now right if you just click on the resume course at the top of the screen if, if this works properly it should start uh, domain here this, this and I'm just going to put a password in here just to so it went back to wherever I was at 36 40 seconds let's just pause it and then that's that's kind of how you resume the course now if I click on the courses tab up here which is basically the same thing as clicking on the full courses list if I click on the courses it takes me to the list of all the courses that are on the site now let's say I want to I want to see which courses are free right I don't I don't necessarily want to buy a course I can just go up here and I can say show price and it'll show me the prices of all the courses and the ones that are free you see they're free right the ones that are free right here so then I can just look at this and you can actually sort it by the prices if I want I want to go here I want to sort by the least expensive so now it's showing me just the free ones at the top of the list right so now I can go to this course and I can add it to my library I'm just going to add it to my library that's great I'm going to go back to the courses list and I'm going to show you in a second how to access courses you have in your library I'm going to add this course to my library it's a free course I go back here now I have the top 10 now by the way it's not showing the price anymore but they're still sorted in the the same order right um <clears throat> so this this one here is also free I'm gonna add it okay so now let's now I have four courses in my library how do I know how do I find my courses right if I click on here 
it just shows all the courses on the site right so how do I know which ones are mine that I have yet we 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 might add a little little something on these on these boxes to show that it's one of your courses or something but for now the way it works is you click on your profile picture up on the top right and then you have uh, you have additional tabs that show up that all have to do with your account right all these tabs here under library is you're going to see what you have in your courses courses that you've added right so you can go back to any of these courses and you can go to this go to the course or just click the image to go to it, it shows you when you added it on your light in your library and uh, and then it also kind of tells you what the course is about right whatever the description of the course was so that's how you find the courses that you have in your library all right so now let's say it's a let's log out I'm going to log out and there we go if I reload the page obviously it's going to say I'm not logged in I'm not logged in I can't access that okay so courses if I go back here and I'm not logged in right now I let's say I have this course here I want to buy this course it's a course that's not free it's 97 dollars right now if I click on unlock course if it's a course that's not free and I don't have an account yet I can click on unlock course right here and I can actually click on get lifetime access to course for only 97 dollars if I click on that it goes to PayPal and then you just have to log in on PayPal and and pay for the course right so once you've paid for the course it, it it'll add it automatically to your library if you don't have an account yet it'll create an account using your your PayPal email right so if you if your PayPal email is not the same as the email you want to use to create an account you should create an account first once you once you're logged in it'll it'll add the library to whatever logged in user you're using uh, but it allow you to use whatever PayPal uh, email you want to use right so if we go back here I'm just going to close that if I go back here to the courses and now here's the other thing let's say you have a, a coupon do you see how it says coupon right here I don't really remember what the coupons are so let me go look in my in my other screen there uh go to go to the the course here <coughs> I'm going to log in on the other screen here as me and I'm going to go to the to look at that uh, course and look at the coupons that are there and I'm just going to create a coupon for this for this test here so by the way course creators can create coupons for their courses that are that are limited in time or limited in um, in numbers so I can have for example a coupon <coughs> that uh <coughs> that is a free coupon or a percentage off or a specific dollar amount and it can be only one or ten let's say right now I'm going to create a coupon for I'm going to create a coupon for zero dollars and I'm going to make it one only one so if I <coughs> see let me just clean some stuff up here because uh, the thing is not working I have a little bug that I got to look into what happens is that my screen has got um it'll go to my chat bot instead of my instead of my um coupon I'm trying to add <clears throat> okay I think that should be good let's call this uh, watcher it's going to be called watcher you can actually try to use it it'll say that they're they're all used up so I'm going to say one and I'm going to submit that there we go okay so now I have a coupon called watcher and by the way you can actually get an, a link some some a friend of yours can send you a link to to your to the course with coupon equals watcher so somebody could send you this link let's just make this somebody could send you this link right with the whole um with the the link coupon equals watcher you can actually get this link whatever the coupon is somebody can send you a link with the coupon right right in the link and it'll um it'll apply it right otherwise you can type the coupon right in here and click on the apply button right so now if that coupon is valid you it'll apply it 
it'll apply it and it'll say what the price is and as you can see it says there's remain one of one right there's only one of these coupons left so now I now I can use this coupon let's close this I can use this coupon let's go put that back up here <clears throat> so if I want to use this coupon right now I click on add to your library and that'll add this actually I'm not logged in right but if I click on this it'll tell me that you got to be logged in you must log in and register right okay so let's log in let's log back into my account which was watcher at flexonless.com and then I'm going to log in oh valid login is that not what it was oh I think it was just watch and log in there we go yeah there you go okay so now if I go and I really I, I can just well actually let's go back to the course here let's see what if I reload this course with coupon the coupon is still applied so I can just add to my library right now just like this and now I have the course in my library right so now if I if I log out and I'm well I'm just going to log out to show what happens if I'm somebody else right and I'm somebody else let's go back to here and then let's just take this this uh, url and I'm going to log out I'm just going to log out and I'm going to reload this page with this coupon so it it didn't it doesn't tell me that the coupon's not valid it should tell me that oh I guess it's but anyways it's not letting me use it as you can see the price is still 97 it didn't make it zero so that's just an example if you try to use a coupon that's already used up like right now if you were to go to the site and try to use the coupon watcher for this 97 dollars course you wouldn't be able to add it to your to your library because the course is uh um is not free and you don't have a coupon to be free so as you can see there's a whole bunch of lessons in this course but now that I have it in my in my um library I can actually let's log back in so watch that let's go back in here and let's log in I'm actually gonna I... <clears throat> sorry I gotta do this over here my other computer is super super slow right now I'm not sure what's going on but okay so um okay so now I'm logged in if I go back to my like I showed you before if I go back to my profile right here and then I go to my library now you can see that I have that course in there too right I have the TikTok masters even though it says 197 I have it in my library now um and by the way look it's showing you how you can actually get a com you get get commission on these on sales of this course right if you wanted to but by becoming an affiliate and let's actually do that let's show you how to become an affiliate so if you go to your account if you go to your profile to become an affiliate you need to have a profile picture so I'm going to choose a profile picture in here I'm just going to put I don't know this one here that doesn't really matter and you also need to set well let's just save the profile picture for now so once you save your profile picture it shows up here you can see that it's your profile picture there and if you want to become an affiliate you got to click on the affiliate link at the top right here and you you have to read the terms of use the rules of conduct which are down here as well terms and rules <coughs> and you have to set all this right you can't you can't become an affiliate if we don't know your real name if we don't know where you where your address we have to know your we there's an k what is it k y c know your customer right we go by the law where if we're going to be paying somebody something we need to know who they are right there's rules about that you can't I mean we could we could do it without those but we prefer being legal so you got to fill in all this and the, as you fill these things in the list will go down right so for example right now I don't have my birth date all these I can go straight to the basic or the details pages directly or I can click on the tabs up here right so <laughs> if I go to the details page let's say I put in my address 123 main street in main in main whoops main 12345 USA now obviously we're going to implement some validation on this stuff eventually but for now it's not so you could probably put whatever and it would still work 
um, and I'm just going to save that without setting those things up and if I go back to affiliate now you see that it's got a lot more stuff filled in but it's still saying I need my first name my gender my birth month right so if I go back to details here I fill that in my a male uh, my date of birth is 19 I don't know 63 and July 6 say there we go so if I go back to fill it now again there's still there's still stuff to fill in but most of, mo lots of it is filled in let's go put in my time zone um I'm in America let's say Boise uh, go back to affiliate here now the time zone is fixed as you can see now there's only the the first name and the last name so I'm going to put uh watch watch man just like that save that I go back to affiliate it says that my username must be something other than user x oh, okay so I'm going to call this watcher and I have to have my PayPal account so and I'm going to put my pay my PayPal is watch it's not obviously that's not correct but so then I save that okay so now that everything is entered you don't normally you don't see the what's left now now you just have to say I you just have to click on those and you have to click that you've read these and then you just save and you become an affiliate now that you're an affiliate you it shows right here that you accepted the terms on this date right and you now have a link right here if you click on if you mouse over it it'll you can see that it says click to copy your link watcher.clickycourse.com right so if I if I if I just click it it'll copy it to the clip clipboard right so link to share website to get the has been copied you may now paste it anywhere else right so now I can close this incognito I'm actually going to just open up a new incognito window I can actually just uh, go here new incognito window and I'm going to paste and go to that link so say I was to uh I I'm becoming an affiliate now you've become an affiliate and you want to send your link to your friend your friend clicks on the link so now they get this link click watcher dot and then it takes them to click or still the same as normally right you can't really tell anything anywhere other than when you click on register it says you were referred by watchman right so that's how you get so now that that new person that logs in and gets an account whether it's a free account a free a course or anything like that they get tied to you so once they're tied to you as an affiliate that means that they will get uh they will get commission whenever you buy something right but other than that nothing really happens right okay so let's see what else do we want to talk about so when you were in the course so I don't have any courses right because I'm not logged in but let me log back in here log in it's going to be watch and then I'm going to log in right here okay so now I'm logged in right if I go back to my um profile did it did it work no I guess it didn't didn't click I can go to my library right here and I can go to any of these courses let's say I want to go to this course I want to look at this course now I'm on the course and it's every one of these if if I want to play I can place just go to a specific one directly by going to these there in this case there's also an ebook if I click on the ebook which is a file it loads up the ebook and you can actually look at the ebook on your computer you can actually download it as well you can save it um, and at the bottom of the page is also a download file there's also a back to course now what else is there so what else did, so any of these so when you add a comment here right thanks for this course it's a great beginner guide okay so this is like if I do this I save that now that adds a comment here right and if I go to the feed there's there might be a, and then the feed is a dynamic so it's a there's an algorithm just like any other platform uh, I can just refresh the feed here and eventually it might load up the the comment I just added but this is kind of random um, but as you can see there's new profile pictures there's um, 
there's there's new courses there's people that rated courses there's new lessons added to courses uh and any of this stuff you can add a comment to this right you can look you can add a comment and you can just say looking looking um looking sharp right I can add the comment now I have a comment here by watchman and I can rate a course I can say I can go to this course right I can click on the link right there that takes me to the course this is actually a course that I have so you can see right here that it says click to get 50 percent commission on sale so <laughs> the course is showing as 197 there's a there's a there should be a deal I'm not sure why that's but anyways that doesn't matter the commission is going to be on whatever the sale price is so if somebody if there is a deal or they use a coupon and they pay like 97 dollars instead of 100 instead of 200 you're going to get 50 percent of the 97 right not not of the 197 obviously you get 50 percent of whatever the person pays for it so if they pay 20 bucks for it you get 10 dollars and this is only because there's a 50 percent commission right it doesn't mean uh, some courses have a um, even more commission or some have 10 percent 20 percent whatever it doesn't it depends on the courses if I look at these courses and I uh, show the price you can see the price of the courses if I go to any of these courses say I go to this one it's 59 it's there's good there's a deal at seven dollars right now I click on this course it says get 97 percent of the seven dollars right so you'd get 665 so as you can see this has a high commission on it and the reason for that is because well I create I put this course it comes from a PLR site the reason is because I'm not really I'm not really looking for the income I'm looking for the lead I want people to use the site to access the site to connect on the site I want them to 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 become people that are on the site so I want I give away almost all the commission the only reason it's not 100 percent is because there are fees uh, and I want to make sure that at least there's some fees that are covered um, <clears throat> you know to manage the site and all this stuff but other than that so most of the courses are like that most of the courses are um, you know 97 dollars now the other thing here let's see let's see let's look at this one wordpress training kit let's actually yeah advanced so this one here is you know uh nine dollars on uh right now until the 23rd of well that's today uh, today at midnight so if you're interested in that you can click on the unlock course and you get the course for it's nine dollars right and if you want to promote it and and, and give it to people right they can <clears throat> they can have uh you, you will you would have eight dollars in commission on that because on the deal right now here's the other thing that's interesting to know and as you can see this has a rating you can actually rate this course you can just click on this that'll rate you'll rate it five stars you can also say uh, testing the rating thing pretty cool right I can comment like this I go like this now that'll go in the feed it'll show the comment you put in and then that and that you rated the course five stars right so the other thing you can see on here is that you can see the author right there you can see the author right there if you mouse over these <coughs> it'll show you the actual author's kind of short bio in this case it's me right and you can go straight to their their news feed the courses they have the the video you can message them too if I click on courses it takes me to the courses of that user <coughs> all the courses that this user has for sale right and um, you can add any of these like the ones that are free right you can just add them to your library and poof it's on it's added to your library right uh, I can go back <coughs> and you can see that this one is now in my library right I probably should have this button disappear once it's added right anyways I'll fix that but so and that's uh, that's the user that's on the course so if I go to um if I go to this course I see the user oh, actually let's go let's go back to the courses and go to because the website also supports multiple sites so if I go to say for example which one is on not on this site uh let's say this one is it <coughs> uh yeah js from online course repo right so that's a different different site there's different sites master of simple online course repo free online course repo there's a bunch of different sites that uh, authors can can share amongst those sites if they want and they become they you can still see it like as you can see on this on this this is on uh, click ecourse 
but I can still see this course from this other site as you can see it says that's the author right there <clears throat> and if I click on this js it's the same thing as that right uh, you can also see things like what's in this course right there's 10 lessons there's four files the lessons are 23 minutes total <clears throat> and there's been 25 minutes watch time so far so if I go to another course let's go to that that TikTok course because we sold quite a few of that um, if I go to that TikTok course you can see that we have eight modules uh, 52 lessons two files lessons are two two hours 25 minutes and there's been a watch of three hours 48 minutes same thing if I go to a course like um which is one that's been watched a lot um I'm trying to remember just one course that there's test there's tests here right something you might not know about me another one here it's a test course I'm trying to see which ones were actually uh, viewed some of the victim connection no that's the connection well, maybe just a LinkedIn uh course LinkedIn profile <coughs> yeah so see this one here has been watched for four hours total right so what it does is that it, it adds up everybody everybody's time watching it doesn't it, it doesn't show who it is right but that's just shows you that it's been watched four hours total it's a 19 minute course but it's been watched for four hours that means that there's at least you know I don't know five six people that watched it right <clears throat> now there's other things as a as an author somebody can see who their students are uh who has added the course to their to their uh to their to their library and stuff like that so let's see is there anything else look any of these comments you can actually reply to it you are well, I'm just going to put I totally agree and this is a test test account just like this I totally agree as you can see it's showing up as a reply to this <clears throat> and if I were to add a comment it would show up at the same level now the layout and all that we probably want to eventually fix or improve but for now that's kind of how it works and that's that's the basics of navigation on Click eCourse obviously there's the leaders the feed the about the plans if you click on plans it shows you the list of features that you can have on the paid plans there's there's four different paid plans each of the plans have a monthly amount or if you want to save two uh, two months you you can use the yearly amount uh, and this is mainly for people who want to host courses but it's also if you want to if you want to become an affiliate and generate additional income the the le the plans also increase your commission based on which plan you're on as well right all right so that's kind of that's kind of how uh clicky course works that's kind of how you navigate your courses if you click on your on your account here and you go to your library you can see the courses that you have on click eCourse and you can just click on any of these courses to go see the course itself and that's kind of how you navigate the course and then like I said you can go to your mobile you to your phone and you can actually go and continue a course that you've already started on your mobile all right hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions don't forget to reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.